Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, I'm Janetta, an author who loves to draw. On my channel, I focus on combining storytelling with art. If that's something you're interested in, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's get to it. It was the top of the year and Jasmine had finally had a moment to reflect. The holiday parties, dinners, and gift giving were done. She survived all the questions on when she was going to get a man, the jokes about getting too old to get a man. She dodged all the requests to watch her cousin's kids so they could duck out and spend time with their spouses. More importantly, she finessed her way out of a forced blind date at her cousin's Renee's New Year's party. Renee, you promised you wouldn't try to pardon me up for this. You said it wasn't just for couples. Jasmine looked around pointedly at all the couples mingling around the room. It wasn't hard for her to figure out who Renee wanted her to meet. Mark, Jasmine's husband, had just opened the door for a little dumpling of a guy with a landing strip down the middle of his head. She gave Renee a really look. Give him a chance. You can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, and apparently you can't assume someone is telling the truth because they say, I promise. Mark obediently brought the new guest over and introduced him to Jasmine. Jasmine, this is my buddy, Paul. Paul, this is my wife's cousin, Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Paul's voice was so high, it could break glass. Nice to meet you too, Jasmine said, trying not to stare at the landing strip. Being five foot four inches tall, it was rare that she towered over a man. Why didn't he just shave his head? That can't be natural hair loss. It literally looked like he took a shaver and ran it down the middle of his head. Mark, I need you to help me with something. Renee pulled him away and left her two love connection targets alone. It's a bit striking, isn't it? Paul said, patting his head. It was a bet that I lost. I can't cut it off until the first of the year. So as you can imagine, I'm looking forward to the clock striking midnight for more reasons than one. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. Jasmine was embarrassed by her behavior. No need. Look, can I be blunt? You aren't really my type. I'm not into women with big hair. He eyed her natural curls. And I definitely like them with a little less meat on their bones. However, it is New Year's Eve, so I'm willing to put my preference aside and get at you. Get at me? Jasmine's nose curled as if she smelled something bad. She quickly fixed her face and said, Hold that thought. I'll be right back. She walked straight to the hall closet, grabbed her coat, and exited out the front door. Once she got in her car, she texted Renee. Please tell Paul I'm not into a-holes, so I saved us both the trouble and left. Now, a little over a week later, she was on a beach, breathing in fresh air and watching the sunrise. This year, she would not be roped into any more situations. She would live her life on her own terms, and only God would be able to tell her different. Little did she know that the jogger approaching from a distance would be part of this year's holiday cheer. Hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, be and stay blessed.